How is it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to arm wrestle someone with longer arms. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, dillenberg999. So I'm gonna give you guys um, some tips. So you actually wanna arm wrestle someone with longer arms. The longer the arms that you're arm wrestling, the easier it is for you. So just imagine you have short arms. If you have short arms, your arm might be like this when you're arm wrestling. Um, if you look at the gap right here, it's not very big of a gap from here to here. Not very big. That's good. You want your arm to be as close to your shoulder as possible. That's really, really good leverage. If you take someone with really long arms, their arms might be like this when they're arm wrestling you. So from here to here is very, very uh, long gap. That's bad leverage. That's me when I'm arm wrestling. I have super long arms. If I'm arm, or I'm arm wrestling people, usually my hands are like this. It's very far away from my shoulder. It's just how my arms are built. I have no other way of doing it. My arm has to be here. While other people, their arms are like right here. So the shorter your arm, the better it is for arm wrestling. Always try to pick people that are lengthy, long arms. That is the best way to win an arm wrestle. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you um, is, or the next thing I'm going to tell you is always arm wrestle people that weigh less than you. So I'm 200 pounds. Um, sorry, I'm 190 right now. I'm cutting weight. I would pick people who are 160, 170 pounds. I'll arm wrestle them all day because I got 20, 30 pounds on them. I'll beat them all the time normally. Um, never try to arm wrestle people that are heavier than you. I've arm wrestled a couple of people. One guy was 50 pounds heavier than me. The other guy was 30 pounds. I beat the guy that was 30 pounds, just barely. The guy that was 50 pounds, he did beat me. So normally heavier people have more strength, not always, but a lot of times they do. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is very, very important. It, it's literally just where you sit when you are arm wrestling. So a lot of times when you're arm wrestling, you're not gonna be on a professional platform. Like if, if, you're, prof if you're arm wrestling professionally or like in competitions, you're gonna have an actual um, like platform kind of thing and there's gonna be handles on each side and you're gonna be facing each other. A lot of times that's not how it is. A lot of times people just arm wrestle on tables and stuff like that. So the next time you're arm wrestling, this is super, super important. Just watch how I am right now. If I'm, let's say I'm arm wrestling someone and I'm sitting like I am right now. When I go against someone and I'm arm wrestling, if you look like this, when I'm arm wrestling someone, I have no leverage. Like I have to put my hand here, for example. So I have no leverage. Now watch what happens when I sit at the other end. Watch what happens when I sit here. If I sit on the other side, if you look here, my arm's here now. I have, I'm just gonna show you like this. If I'm sitting here now, what happens is I get to put my hand here and all my pressure, I can now push like this. So if I'm arm wrestling someone, I always sit like this. If you sit on the other side of the table, then you have no leverage. So it's very, very, very important with how you sit. Again, you always want to be here. So, Basically what happens is you want you want there to be nowhere to put your arm, for example. So if you see right here, I have nowhere to put my arm. Like I can't place my arm anywhere on the table. That's what you want. So what you can do is you can put your hand here and then you can use your body because nothing's blocking you here. You can use your body and you can press down. That's what you want. If I'm sitting here, for example, I'm just gonna show you like this. If I'm sitting here, for example, I have nowhere to move my body. The desk is in the way, I can't press down. So if I'm arm wrestling someone, I have terrible leverage sitting here. This is a horrible position. And this is what I do all the time when I'm arm wrestling people. And they won't even know. Like if someone's sitting on the other side, I'll be like, okay, my arm's kind of sore, let's switch sides. Um, and they're like, okay, we'll switch sides. And I just, I, I literally destroy them because one, I'm usually stronger than them. And two, I now have a big, big leverage um, boost. So that's just a quick tip you can do. Very, very easy for winning arm wrestles. Um, and again, it's all about leverage, you guys. End of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't.